might be somewhere near the bench. I found a suicide note. Anna, I got here as fast as I could. Have you found anything? Yes, I found Paula's suicide note. Let me have a look. Let's see what she wrote. So short and sad. I should have noticed the signs when I questioned her. Anna, you shouldn't blame yourself. We haven't found the killer. Another person has died. Anna, please stop. She was so young. Anna, please, you must stay strong. We need to find the killer. Yes, you are right. You look tired. You should relax here for an hour and clear your head. We will find the killer. We have to go. I need to report to Signor Cozzi. Yes, we have a killer to catch. Where the hell have you been? I'm sorry, Signor Cozzi. I was attending to a tragic scene. Miss Tornetta. There is only one person that you are attending to, and that is Miss Myers. I told you to keep this journalist away from police business. Officer Cozzi, we were dealing with the tragic death of Miss Tornetta. And we were looking for Mr. Verno, but could not find him. Miss Myers, you lack the detective skills of a professional policeman. I'm sorry? Mr. Verno is in his compartment. I was talking with him just now, and I will question him tomorrow. Officer Kotze, please. Stop meddling in this investigation. Go back to your compartment. Officer Kotze! Oh, never mind. Anna, I was looking for you. Officer Kotze told me about Paula's suicide. What a tragedy. I believe you witnessed it. You must feel terrible. Oh, Oswald, it's just so sad. You must be hungry. Come with me to the dining car. I don't feel like eating right now. No objections. Some wine and a hot dinner is what you need right now. OK, a glass of wine might be good. What's wrong with these people? Paula's luggage is still lying in the corridor. Wait, Oswald, I want to have a look at her suitcases. Maybe we might find something interesting. It's a draftsman's tool, a divider. What could it be doing in Paula's belongings? Paula was not an engineer as far as I know. No, she wasn't. Then whose divider is it? There is only one engineer on this train, and that is... Mr. Verno. Yes, Fabio Verno. Do you think he killed Aldo? I'm not sure. But he was staying in the same carriage, so he could easily have entered Aldo's and Paula's compartments without being noticed. But the main question is, where was he at the time of the murder? If he was here, then why didn't he call for help? Why didn't he call the police? I don't know. He might have been afraid, but he is suspicious. Exactly. Let's go to the dining car. We can discuss the case over a glass of wine. Wait, we should check Paula's compartment first. You wanted to check Paula's compartment. It's locked. Shall I call Officer Kotze? Let's not. Kotze probably ordered this door to be locked. I'll try to pick the lock. Please, don't tell Officer Kotze about this. Oh, Sesame! 
Follow me, Oswald. Ugh, Aldo's dead body is still here. Let's do a quick search. This will assist. I found the knife. Have you found anything interesting, Anna? Look, the knife is engraved with the Porto Cheso coat of arms. Do you think the murderer could be from this town? But how could they get onto the train, kill Aldo and escape? Maybe. Or someone could have come to Porto Cheso earlier and stolen the knife. Then, after the murder, they left the knife at the crime scene in the hope that it would incriminate a local. Oh, that seems too complicated, doesn't it? Why bother? I don't know. Anyway, I better leave the knife at the crime scene. I don't want Kotzi to know that we were here. Will we go to the dining car? Yes, some food would be good. So, what are your plans for tomorrow, Anna? I want to talk to Mr. Verno. Because you suspect he is the murderer? I'm not sure, Oswald. There are too many clues pointing at him. It bothers me, but anything is possible. Nothing would surprise me. Mr. Verno? What a surprise. Care to join us? Good evening. Yes, I want to talk with you. Really? I was just talking about Dr. Chester with Oswald. What a nice town. Really nice. Miss Myers, you don't fool me. I've heard what you are up to. What are you talking about? I didn't kill him. I am innocent. I just wanted to ask you some questions. I'm not going to answer your questions. Mr. Verno, calm down. I'm not the police. I've already spoken to God. Calm down, for God's sake. I will not to calm down. Is this your drafting time? Let me see. It's just an ordinary divider. Every draftsman uses one. Or my tools are in my compartment. Can you show them to us? This is none of your business. Mr. Butler, calm down. I will know. She is trying to frame me. I'm not trying to do anything to you. With him. Never mind. I'll talk to him later. Why is he always so aggressive? What was his problem with Aldo? Sorry, was the head of the company that his grandfather founded, Verno Tyrus. Wallinelli was their largest customer, and Verno Tyrus needed to expand, but they could not raise a loan from the banks. So Mario Wallinelli, Aldo's father, loaned them a large sum of money. So this is about money? Yes. A few years later, Morinelli lowered their order from Verno Tires, but a lower order meant that Verno couldn't repay the loan. Long story short, Morinelli acquired Verno Tires for a penny, and Mr. Verno now works for Morinelli as an ordinary engineer. Oh my! What a perfect motive to kill Aldo! The work of several generations of the Verno family was wiped out. If I were Mr. Verno's shoes, I'd probably kill Aldo myself. How horrible. Yes, Mario Morinelli is a tough businessman. All right, Anna, it's late. It is going to be a long day tomorrow, so I'm off to bed. Good night, Oswald. Good night. I hope we find the killer today. I better talk to Herman about the Porto Cesso knife I found yesterday. Good morning, Anna. 
It's an interesting case, isn't it? Good morning, Herman. What do you mean about the case? Signor Cozzi told me about your interest in Mr. Molinelli's murder. Officer Cozzi is... Don't worry, Anna. I also like to solve puzzles. And I bet Silvia Molinelli has nothing to do with this. Why do you think that? <coughs> she might be snobbish, but she didn't do it, I'm telling you. Please, explain. Why do I think she's snobbish? Have you seen her? I mean, she talks to people as if they were pieces of dirt. I read her once that... The... No, no. I mean, why do you think she didn't kill Aldo? Ah, that. She couldn't handle something that complicated. To plan everything in advance, cover tracks. She couldn't do it. Hmm. And you know what? I think I know who might have done it. Who? The gentleman who is being questioned by Signor Cozzi. Mr. Werner? <coughs> That's right. Mr. Werner, yes. And this is not the first time I've seen him in our town. Oh, really? When was he here? Last week. He was wandering around the station looking for someone or something. He didn't stay long. He left town in the evening. Are you sure it wasn't someone else? I have an eagle eye, Anna. I'm absolutely sure it was him. That's interesting. I'm telling you, this is a very interesting case. Herman, one more thing. Have you ever seen a knife with an engraving of the Porto Cesso coat of arms? Of course. We use them in the station cafe. They're customer made. Ask Vincent in the cafe. He can tell you more about them. Thank you, Herman. You're welcome. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Myers. What can I get for you? Good morning, Vincent. Nothing right now, thanks. I just wanted to ask a question about the knives in your cafe. Our knives? What do you want to know? Herman told me that the Porto Cesso coat of arms is engraved on your knives. Is that true? Yes, our knives are custom made. Have any of them gone missing lately? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Is there any other place in the station where the knives are stored? Yes, we keep a stock of spells in the cellar. Can I have a look? No, I'm sorry. Signor Cosi locked the cellar and told me not to let anybody in. I don't want to get into trouble with Cosi. I understand. No problem. Anna. Hello, Oswald. How did Mr. Verno's questioning go? What have you found out? It seems that Fabio Verno visited Porto Cesso last week. He spent the whole day here wandering around the station. Oh, really? Herman was right. What did you say? I said it's a very hot day today. It is indeed. Care for a beer? Beer? A pint of Costello would be nice. <laughs> Verno say what he was doing in Porto Cesso? He said that he received an anonymous letter, and the sender claimed to have important information about Verno tires that would help him get his company back. The sender told Verno to come to the train station in Porto Cesso and wait near the station cellar. What did he do? He came here, but he didn't meet anybody. Where did he spend the whole day in Porto Cesso? He said he waited near the station cellar for most of the time. What a ridiculous story. Yes, it sounds fishy to me, too. So, what are Officer Cotzi's plans? He is investigating Paola's death at the moment. I think he is getting overwhelmed by all the deaths. Where is he now? He's in the harbour. He'll be there for quite some time. Really? If Cotzi is busy in the harbour, then I can do my own investigation. I have to go, Oswald. See you later. I need to get into the cellar. Herman the station master must have a key. He might be in the lobby. Herman, I've been looking for you. Hello, Anna. What can I do for you? Could you help me to get into the station cellar? Oh, I'm sorry, Anna. Signor Cozzi has taken all the keys. You will have to talk to him. Mm. Thank you, Herman. Cozzi won't work with me. My only option is to take the cellar key myself from the police station.
Damn. I'll create a diversion. Using this barrel. Great. The coast is clear. I need to act now. I won't get another chance. I must hurry. Kotsi could return at any moment. The cellar key has to be here somewhere. 